Star Connect Trivia Of the 21 World Cup tournaments played so far, up to 2018, there have been 12 European and 9 South American winners. No other continent has produced a world champion. This is a million dollar view. Million dollars. Yes. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. Welcome back to Star Connect. We are connecting today with Elisha Owusu. I always like to call him Elisha, but I noticed that he says Elisha. I would say like it's Elisha, but you know, I'm grew up in France and in France when I was in school they say I said Elisha, they said no, Elisha, because you know it's right, Elisha. Elisha. So after that, he stay Elisha, you know, and even of me. So what do they call you here? Uh, Eli or Elisha. Elisha, yeah. okay, all right. So um, Ghent is where he plays, and it's a great place um, in terms of how chill it is. He was telling me that, you know, that he can walk around, go to the restaurants, just let's chill, have a chill vibe, and all that. But before we came up here, to the VIP boxes. Yeah, I'm chilling VIP boxes. <laughs> you were telling us about your family, you know, their influence on you and that whole thing. How often do you come to Ghana? I've been in Ghana last summer. Yeah. Because like with my team, the guy who I work with, you know, my friend, my close friend and my family, I want to go back and see the country because the first time I go, I was there, I uh, have six years old. And uh, I want to go there when I'm, I would say, more mature to yeah. see how things is going over there. Yeah. And really, I love the country. I love the, the love that I receive, the energy that I receive. And uh, I have so much fun over there. You know, we do a lot of things over there. And I was so, so happy. I do a video, I put on Instagram. And, I saw it. Yeah, and you I'm, went to Kakum National Park. Yeah. You went to um, um, some waterfall or something yeah. like that. Yeah. We went also where there is a slave, you know, to see a, a lot about the castle. Like, yeah, the, the, my story, you know, the story of my, Your people. my people. Exactly. And I really appreciate it. And uh, also because of uh, this. Uh, trip I do, I know more about myself also, you know, so it was really beautiful for me. Elisha, would you say your visit back home made you appreciate being Ghanaian even more? Because obviously you lived and grew in Europe. Definitely, definitely. I will not lie to you. Uh, I love saying that I'm Ghanaian, but you know, to go there and see how things was going, like the energy that I received, I was with my mom over there. I go to Kumasi also, where my parents live, where they grew up. And in my mind, I was like, I need to come here more often. You know, and really, I have so much, so much fun. See, you we, we are Osekrum boy. Yeah, pa. <laughs> <laughs> pa. Shout out to Osekrum. Yeah. Mwamuni <laughs> Peniyo. Uh, Lisho, you see our yeah. bon thing. Yeah. We're outside. We, we, we are oh, oh, we are outside. Yes, yes. How is your chief? Kakra kakra, me chimi kakra kakra because like my parents omo try say ye be learn it. Yeah. Now mo per se ye kasa, now mo per se gane nipa. Omo baby are free. Exactly. And all that. Yeah, so. That's good. Me o kasa me te na me be ti na kasa. And yeah. that best to say we don't know best. No, no, I understand. Me try. We don't have practice. You don't have a lot of practice. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it's understandable. Yeah. But. Yeah, so the languages you speak are um, French. French, French. I'm born in France, so French. Yeah. And I learn also English, but uh, I would say French, One. definitely yeah. 100%. Second English. Yeah. And third, I would say three. Three, yeah. okay. Um, yeah, in Belgium, here, you know, here is like a... It's like a salad here yeah. in this country. They speak a lot of Dutch, Dutch uh, French, Flemish, English, Flemish. There is a lot of, a lot, lot of, things, lot of. Yeah. If you speak English, you're good. You're good. If you speak <laughs> French, you're good. Yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah. I noticed when you were coming up, some people speak English with you, yeah. some people speak yeah. French with you, yeah. and 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 all that. I mean, so looking at the French and your origins in France, yeah. Your football development came how? How did it come? You know, it's a beautiful story. Like, you know, I grew up in Marseille 
And uh, after church, we used to go to my auntie's place, you know, because she has a big house. So we go there, play football, has swimming pool, you know. So we go there, and I was playing football with the guy, with the boys. I was a little kid. And you know, her husband, she saw that I was playing, and I was not playing in a football club. So she saw me playing and told my parents, oh, she has something, this guy, you know, you need to make him go and play in a, in a football club. So my parents said, okay, and uh, I was lucky because also uh, where I grew up, there was a club called Erben, it was a really good club. So I go there one day, do the test, they pick me. After that, I go until, uh, I think, 12 or 13 years, mm -hmm. I go to Lyon. I do all my, my uh, I would say, my youth career over there, sign my first professional contract over there. It was a big blessing to be in this academy because yeah. Lyon is one of the best academies. The yeah. purpose yeah. of football is so good. And Even the men and the women. Yes, yeah, so, <laughs> they are so, so, so good. And I have the, the opportunity to play with some big players like Nabil Fekir, Topai. Now Usama Wa, Maxence Cafe, and you know this academy, they bring you a lot of experience yeah. you know, in your football, I play youth league also. And after that I was playing, signed my first uh, deal. And you know in Lyon, the quality is so high. So you know when you come, you're a young player, yeah. sometimes then they don't have time, you know. So when they don't have time, what you do? You go some other place. No, no. Long, I go long in social to have some game time. So, by the grace of God, I do good over there. Yeah. And after that, I came back to Lyon and I signed straight uh, here in Ghent. In Ghent. Yeah. Good, yeah. good. About Lyon, I mean, I have to ask you, what is it that makes the Lyon Academy so special? Because they produce players prolifically, yeah. so many. Remember the time they were dominating League yeah, One? And yeah, winning yeah, and winning? yeah, yeah. Mike, listen. Yeah, he played over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah Lyon. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I would say. They put a lot of energy, time, money on the development of uh, the youth player. Yeah. You know, a lot of clubs, they can say, yes, we want the youth to come in, but you need to put energy. You yeah. need to take good care of them. Yeah. And I would say in Lyon, when you are a youth player, you can feel so much that you are important. Yeah. You know, in the training, we train uh, like the first team. We wear the same clothes like the first team. And you know, when you are young, you have everything like the first team. Yeah. And... Uh, our training were really about the technique, technique, and they prepare the young to face like the pressure of uh, the first team. Yeah. And for me, it was such a, an amazing time I spent over there. I mean, of course, Lyon right now they'll be very happy because Karim Benzema yeah. is, is, is world player of the year, is yeah. Ballon d'Or winner. Exactly. And he came from there. He came from there. He came from Lyon. You know, when you go to Lyon. Karim Benzema is a, a goat, you know, everybody love him, <laughs> everybody consider him and I was so happy, yeah. I was so happy, you know, because like a lot of, he had, he faced a lot of difficult moments and he overcame the last five years. That. Exactly, you know, and with faith, work, can do anything, you know, and he shows. us. Speaking of Benzema and working hard and grinding, I mean, we have to say that you have followed a similar path because you went to Lyon um, as a youth player, yeah. then went to Sochaux, yeah. and then now you've, yes. you've come to Ghent. Yes. What, at what point in your career are you, if I ask you? <laughs> I would say... I mean, you're what, 24 years yeah, now? 20, I'm still learning. I would say I'm still learning. Even if when I will be 35, I was still learning. Yeah. I'm still in the development of my career. Yeah. I would not say I'm not where I want to be. Yeah. But I'm still working hard and trusting the process. Where do you want to be? The most higher place, you know, but I'm so grateful to be where I am today. Yeah. So, you know, in football, you, every time you need to say, I want to go there, I want to go there, I want to be this, I want to be this. Yeah. But I'm grateful where I am today and I work really hard to, to play in, in top, top leagues, top club, and yeah. we will see what God will bring to us. I like the expression. He says, trust the process, and he also says that I'm not where I want to be, but I'm grateful about where I am. Yes, sir. Well, where we are is Ghent, and uh, we are hanging out with Elisha Owusu, a.k.a. Elisha Owusu, <laughs> a.k.a. Ellie. Yeah, 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 you can call me. <laughs> a.k.a. We Outside. Yeah. And um, he's a Ghana boy, you know, Sekrum Nipa, <laughs> <laughs> who has found himself in Europe. And um, we'll come to the Black Stars because he surprised everybody 
with his performances. You know, he was scouted by the technical team and he, he featured for the Black Stars in the early part of 2022. And he's hoping to get a place in the FIFA World Cup as well. We'll touch more on your club issues. Yeah. Um, Position-wise, yeah. I ask players all the time that if I check websites like Flashscore, LiveScore, and I Google your name or Transfer Market, they tell me that you are a number six. Yeah. But for you, are you a number six? First of all, we say I'm a team player. I'm that, a team First of that, all. That's what they all say. Yeah, I'm a team <laughs> player and I will play whatever the position the coach, the staff will put me. But my favorite position where I'm, I would say I grew up playing and playing my club is number six. Yeah. Defensive midfield. Yeah. 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 Very interesting because when I see you in that role, you command. So are you a more defensive DM? or a more progressive one? I love to have the ball. Both, I would say, I love to have the ball. I love to give the pass. I love to feel the ball, to feel that, you know. Express. Yeah, I have the tempo of the game. And I love also to, to win the ball, to put a lot of pressure, to show, them, show everybody that I'm strong also. And uh, you don't see it here, but on the pitch, like, you can see it, you know. <laughs> And I know, yeah. if you watch his clips, you, you go like, what a slim guy! Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people tell me this, you know. But it's, it's very deceptive. Yes, you know, you don't see it, but on the pitch, like... You feel it. You feel it. That's it. You feel it, you know. But I can play both positions, defensive, hold the ball. Yeah. I like it, you know. Very interesting, because as you grow in the Black Stars, mm. uh, you know, coaches will come, some will play you, and... And fans will not understand, but this interview will, will give them a sense of perspective as well. Which brings me to, at what point do you think the Black Stars set up, saw you and decided, Elisha is what we want? I think like, uh, you know, the staff follow a lot of players. They follow the players, they, they see who is doing this, who is doing this. And I, I feel like I was in a position where like I can bring something to the team, you know, the most and the way possible. And I think like uh, I was doing good, I think, in my club. That's why that uh, the coach and uh, the staff called me, I think. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm asking because, you know, sometimes a player can be in form and know, like you can feel that, no, my call up is yeah. coming soon. So when they called you up, were you surprised? I, I was a little bit surprised, you know, because it was... Uh, I would say important game, really, really important game. Before I was not uh, in the squad, and to be a uh, call in these two important games. Ghana, Nigeria. Yeah, Ghana, Nigeria to qualify to the World Cup. I was like, wow, it's so big. And I take it like a blessing of God. You know, I take it like so happy. I was so happy, so proud. And uh, yes, my family was, we yeah, are proud. Proud, yeah. We'll come to the atmosphere of the Ghana, Nigeria games, yeah. but. At the time that you were called, mm. knowing how big the two games were, how did you feel? You know, every player uh, want to play this kind of game, you know. And me, I think like every player want to feel this kind of pressure, you know. This kind of difficult game, this kind of game that you can decide a lot of things for your career, you know. Yeah. So I was excited. I was feeling like excited, motivated to to just be there, you know? So, if you're part of the squad, you part of the squad that qualify for the World Cup. It's amazing, you History. Know? Yeah, exactly. It's history. And the history of the Ghanaian Black Star. And you know, when I was young, I was watching them like the Black Star. Asamoja, Asia, and Didayu, I was like watching them in the TV. And now to be in the Black Star, for me, it was... I don't have words. You know? French, French, you see. Incroyable, eh? Incroyable. 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 Almost incroyable. And, as you like to say, by the grace of God, yeah. when you came into the game, I mean, you had a very good game against Nigeria. Yeah, people told me this, and I, I saw that. What, what do you think? I think that I'm doing, I doing well. Yeah. I'm doing well. I think, like, uh, the coach gave me uh, confidence, and all my teammates, they pushed me also. And uh, really, everybody, I would say, 
all the team, the staff, yeah. they put me in a good mood, good spirit to yeah. express myself the most. Like when you came on, yeah. uh, this was in Abuja. Yeah, exactly. In Abuja. Yeah. Like, you came on at the, the biggest, the most pressure-laden time as possible. Mm. But second half, yeah. what was the job you were given? My you replaced Baba Idrisu. Yeah, yeah. My job was to be like in front of the defense, to be, I would say, the balance of the team, yeah. and uh, to, to make the team, I would say, uh, to defend the goal we have. Just that, yeah. yeah. A lot of players have described the atmosphere for that game in Abuja. Was it the craziest thing you've ever experienced in your career, or you've seen something like it before or after? I would say in Kumasi, yeah. I can feel the energy I never seen before. Yeah. You know, I play in uh, the Roma Stadium. We play also in Germany, but in Roma and uh, Kumasi, yeah. you can feel the energy. You can feel the heat. Everybody was, there was so much people, you can see even of other ones was, yeah, Kumasi for me was the biggest atmosphere yeah, really, for, so far in my career. So you qualified, yeah. um, the team qualified for the yeah. World Cup, what was it like afterwards? Happy, proud, everybody was dancing, everybody was filming, qualify for the World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's a big, big, big thing. Yeah. Everybody was, you know, the dressing room was crazy. Yeah. Some people were crying. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you know. Were you crying? No, <laughs> no, I cannot cry. But I was so happy. Yeah. I was so happy. I cannot believe. I cannot believe what happened to me and it was, was good. One question that several people want to know. Was it always your dream? to play for Ghana, or did you ever consider playing for France? I will not lie to you, play for the Black Star was my dream since I was a kid, you know, because in my family, my parents love so much football. They speak about me, about the Black Star. And you know, when I was a kid in Marseille, I watched like uh, the beautiful run they do in the World Cup 2006. No, yeah, with Asama Jan, when they go, um, against uh, the lose against Uruguay, you know? And I was... 2010. Yeah, 2010. And I was like watching them, you know, like, I want to play one day if God allowed me in Black South, in Ghana, you know? And I was praying, hoping to play in Ghana when I was ready, you know? Yeah. yeah, really. What do you have to tell Ghanaians who are feeling a bit down? I will tell them that World Cup is a whole new it's a whole different uh, competition. Mm -hmm. I will tell them that, believe me, every player that will be in the team will do their best, put their best, give their best for them. Every, every Ghanaian player is so proud to be Ghanaian and you will want them to feel happy also. I will tell them that support us, support us, and uh, give us energy, love, and really we will do it or best to make them proud. What about the coach who is under pressure? I would tell the coach that uh, all the players are behind his back yeah. and uh, all the players want the best for the team. So if you want the best for the team, you want the best also for the coach because yeah. if the team wins, it's good for the coach also. And I uh, will tell that we will give our best, really we give our best, definitely. He should trust you guys. Definitely. I had a rumor, I had a rumor that Atletico Madrid wanted you. Yeah, it was, I would say, like my first year. First season, we do a really, really good season. And yeah, there was some club after that. People are saying this, you know, people are saying this. People are saying this club, this club. Me, I try to like focus on the pitch. If I'm in Gen, that means I need to still learn, still improve in Gen. So I'm not the type of guy who, like, we say, oh, yes, there is this club, there is this club. No, I'm here today, you know. Your playing style suggests to many people, a lot of your fans, I went on, you know, the KAA against yeah. the, um, the social media pages. People are like, Elisha, he's underrated. <laughs> you know, like, he's so good, he's underrated. Like, do you think you're underrated as a player? Sometimes I think so, sometimes. Sometimes I think so, you know, because, like, also opposition midfield, 
I would say we are not like strikers who take all the applause, take all the credit. You know, sometimes we do that, I would say, the dark job. You need to know football to, to see that, ah, this, player is, a good this player. player is a good player, this player brings something to the team, you know. Yeah. So it's part of the game. I just need to keep going, keep going, doing good, keep working, and I know that it will change, you know. I know you are very focused. You are also a very shy guy. You're also very simple. But surely, Elisha has, and I know you, you love getting until you are here. What are your dream clubs? A dream club? I will not lie to you. I don't have like dream, dream club. But in my mind, I, I really love Premier League. I really love Premier League. I really love the top league, you know. But I don't really have, I would say, ah, this club, this club, you know. Yeah. yeah. But I'm a Madrid fan. Ala yeah, Madrid. Yeah, Ala Madrid, definitely. 100%. Ala Madrid, yeah. yeah. Loving the conversation so far with Alicia. I'm knowing him more. He also mentioned, actually, that his mother cooks the best jollof in the world, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah. Bare Ache. Bare Ache and in Chinam. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, um, we'll go back for a quick commercial break. When we come back, we'll get to know more about this man, Alicia Usu. Stay with us on Star Connect. Star Connect is powered by Positive Communications, Platinum Live, Nike Media Hub. Media partners are Joy Prime, Joy News, and Joy FM. Yeah.